Until recently, few people had heard of Zika and its name comes from the Zika forest of Uganda where the virus was first isolated in 1947. As of 2013, it had never been recorded in the western hemisphere. By 2014, the virus made an appearance in the Americas, arriving in the Easter Islands, and then it showed up in Brazil. Now, in 2016, the World Health Organization says it's spreading explosively throughout the Americas, and the agency warned that it's expected to reach nearly every country in the Americas. An estimated 80% of people don't even develop develop any symptoms after being infected with the virus and for everyone else the symptoms are usually mild with rashes on the body headaches pain in the joints and bones and fever these symptoms typically show up between 3 and 12 days after the initial mosquito bite and then go away within a week but now scientists are wondering if they have underestimated the dangers of zika over the past year public health officials have found evidence that zika may be linked to birth defects in newborns and neurological conditions in adults regions where cases of zika have increased have seen more and more babies born with microcephaly a congenital condition that's associated with small head and incomplete brain development babies in the first trimester are particularly vulnerable to birth problems though the risk can continue throughout the pregnancy it's also suspected that zika can cause guillain-barre syndrome a very rare neurological condition that can cause paralysis it's believed that zika is linked to both these diseases yet research is being carried out to confirm it clinically there's no vaccine or medicine to prevent zika it is an arbovirus which means it's passed through people by insects more narrowly it's part of the flavivirus family which includes west nile dengue and yellow fever the zika virus is spread mainly through mosquitoes and aedes mosquito bites an infected person draws blood and contracts the virus when it then goes and bites another person the virus spreads but mosquitoes aren't the only way to get the virus people infected with zika can pass on the virus to others through sexual intercourse zika can also be transmitted through blood and mother to fetus transmission has been documented throughout pregnancy in 2015 Zika virus RNA was detected in the amniotic fluid of two fetuses indicating that it had crossed the placenta. A vaccine to prevent Zika is being developed but it might take 2 years to develop in labs and 10 years to be allowed for public use. Till then, precautionary measures such as wearing mosquito repellents, using screens to keep mosquitoes outside, covering the whole body with clothes and making sure there's no standing water inside or outside the home must be taken. Precaution is the best method to eradicate this disease, so be careful, stay safe. safe and stay healthy your sharing of this video is much appreciated as this will create awareness among people about this disease got a burning question to ask or any suggestions to give put them down in the comment section below and we'll be happy to read them out and make sure you follow us on facebook twitter google plus and instagram and subscribe for more weekly science and maths videos